Hello, everybody. It's Vertical Sandwich. I think... Well, what we're going to want to do here... As weird as this is. We're going to take the Bulletproof Patriot again. We're going to, again, need it. And uh, this one I don't know if we can do or not. I can't believe that it's advanced the time four hours and I'm still in this stupid rain cycle. So dumb. Better go away while we're doing this mission. Otherwise, stuff like that's going to happen more often than you would think. Oh, jeez. I don't have a great handle on this next thing we're doing, so... Um, we're going to give it a shot. I know what we have to do. I'm just, uh... I'm just not sure the best approach. So, S-A-M. Same. Do we take it some more now or just wait for it to turn black and fall off? Give it a quick prod. Oh, what is that gooey yellow stuff? Oh, hey, babe! My handyman. I, I was bored, so I came over to keep a suit of company. She's got the makings of a natural, this girl. She's managed to extract this little gem from our guest. There's a plane coming into Francis International in two hours' time. It is full of Catalina's poison. You can avoid airport security by getting a boat out to the runway light buoys and shooting the plane down on its approach. Collect the cargo from the debris and stash it. Oh, you be careful now, okay, baby? Now try the chili oil. Okay, we're going to try to do this the way everybody on the face of the planet does this stupid mission. Like... Um, which involves standing on the, on the runway and shooting the plane on its approach. But we've got to, you know, we've got to get over there. Oh my god, the cartel guy, he did that on purpose. I mean, the Bulletproof Patriot will make us, you know, nigh invulnerable. Oh, jeez. And I just, I, I just go the wrong way. I did, I did, didn't I? Okay, well, whatever. Did I just go the wrong way again? Ugh. Why am I panicking? I'm completely panicking. It's dumb. Oh, and I'm gonna miss the I'm gonna miss the bridge cycle, really. So we're uh, we're we're gonna have some issues. We've lost some time here, and it's a pretty tight timed mission anyway. But maybe we can make it work. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. If we have to do multiple attempts at it, we'll do multiple attempts at it. It's not a huge deal. But this is where we need to be, largely. Crash right through this thing at full speed. See, like, that's what we don't want to see. Oh, I've got to get down to the other runway, too. Jeez. Hope those guys aren't going to chase me. Wow. How long did I fly at that time? Okay. Okay. Now you hope.
This is gonna kill me. It's completely gonna kill me. Stand in the middle of this stupid runway. Oh, we got it! It did not, in fact, kill me! Why am I not collecting these better? Stop. We have you covered. It's like a thing that should be happening. Collect you that. Okay. So these guys are going to start shooting me. Okay. So now we just get back to our Bulletproof Patriot. And hopefully... <laughs> I can't believe that. That's another thing we shouldn't have been able to do on the first try. Is hit that plane like that. I mean, I think we barely hit it. The sun in my eyes would be, uh, is a thing I could do without, frankly. I'm not worried about the cartel guys. What are they going to do? <gasps> no! Okay. Okay, good, good, good. All of my GTA skills just went into getting that back on it. Getting that back right side up. Because I do, in fact, have GTA skills. Okay, that actually dropped our wanted level, which is nice. Because now we, we have an issue with that, with the wanted level. And what's going on. Oh, don't do that to me! You stupid cops. Didn't occur to me that there would be a run back that we would have to do and that it would be hard and that it's going to involve a timed drawbridge oh that's awful everything about it is awful we could take the tunnel I suppose don't flip over my patriot Okay, taxi guy, get out of my way. Jeez. Alright, well, this is kind of working. Kind of. But I really need to save the Patriot. I think we... We lost a little bit of our police coverage on that little thing that just happened. And we just lost a guy who should be following us who went over the... the deal. Well, so now it's just a matter of actual, you know, maneuvering. Wow! Got your precious Marie. We don't want her face to look like she fell out with a butcher. Bring $500,000 to the villa at Cedar Grove. Alright, so. We have one mission left. That better not have been my bulletproof patriot that just exploded. And it was not. Okay, fantastic. Because I need that. Because it's awesome. Alright, we have no wanted level. We have minimal body armor. I mean, it just doesn't really matter for reasons I don't want to get into. But, uh, we have now... Um, whoa, that was quite a scream. So now our last mission hub is Catalina. And uh, I want to park this back in my garage so that I know that I have it. And we're ready for the last mission in GTA 3. How great is that? Um, well, we're not ready yet. We actually, I'm gonna, we're gonna talk about that. I will save over this. What I'm gonna do is, uh, we're gonna get right back into the Bulletproof Patriot. Hopefully, it's healed up. 
and we're taking it back to our hideout. It looks healed up to me. We're taking it back to our hideout on the other island. So, the last island. Shorewood Vale or whatever. Or Shoreside Vale. It's nice. I'm glad I don't have to do this without the bulletproof Patriot. That's sweet. We're going to cheat the hell out of this mission anyway, but... So it'll take me a while to get back there. I don't know how to... Um, so that last, Ransom is like the last... I don't know why it counts that as a mission. Like it treats it like it's a mission. But it's just a cutscene. Okay, I'm going to see if I can get this guy stuck. Oh, that was close. That was so close. I got one where I got the hood stuck, and uh, it came out smoking black, but it didn't blow up. I was shocked. Like, I, that would damage your car, you know? You'd be done. Now, okay, so the reason, there's a reasoning behind what we're doing right now, as far as this goes. You, we actually are going to have enough time to go pick up this vehicle. And our, uh, and our weapons from our hideout at the beginning of this next mission. Normally, this next mission actually is, requires you to do it with no weapons. And, uh, not, not happening. <laughs> like, not happening at all. So, um, the, I, I, I believe it's not a big deal that you can, you can get the Bulletproof Patriot. That's, that's gonna, it's gonna help. But, you know, it's, it's not as much of a game breaker as actually having guns is gonna be. Because the last mission is actually right up here on this road. So what we'll, what we'll then do is we'll run down to, we can just run down to our hideout and pick up our body armor and stuff. And then from there, there's actually a shortcut to where we're going anyway. That I checked out a couple videos ago, so, or, yeah, I don't know, from the last video or something. So that's my strategy in a nutshell is to just do this that way. Now we are gonna lose the Bulletproof Patriot after this, even if we start a new game. So. Like, or start a new game, even if we continue after we complete the mission. We, we, you lose whatever vehicle you take on this mission. So if you wanna keep it, and you wanna do stuff with it later, like Rampages or something, uh, not a great idea. Wait. No. Alright, so when we come back, uh, last mission. Bye, everybody.